What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team, stand up! March has arrived. FTC is always a vibe. Try not to get boo! Try not to boo! <laughs> Try not to get stirred! 15 scary videos you need to see! For most of us lay people, there's probably nothing more skin crawling than the idea of working with cadavers, what is especially that? when they're only half lifeless. YouTuber Nortau Online shares this footage of a possibly mistaken cadaver. What is a cadaver? Like, is that a hand crawling or? Oh no. The body pulls the sheet down from his head as though he can't breathe. Then he takes a look around. What is it? What is going on? Imagine being left there, waking up, and having no clue where you are or what's going on. The body pushes itself up to a sitting position. This is creepy, bro. And then, with great difficulty, it stands. From there, it appears to get its bearings. Bro, what? What have we just witnessed? We've either got a zombie on our hands or a living man that was mistaken for passed away. I think oh. this might be a miracle. So I'm using context for cadaver's person that holds the bodies. Would this make you do a double take? Oh my gosh, what the fuck? Oh my Shared by gosh, YouTube that bitch is possessed. Oh holy shit! This video is trending what is that? in the Indonesian speaking YouTube community. I wasn't able to track down the clip's original. Yo, he, he, he, I see something like that in the neighborhood, bro. I'm, bro, this house is going for the house is going for sale the next morning, bro. That shit is not even a joke. It, it, it, it, matter of fact, she can have everything in the house, bro, except for anything Steph Curry related, um, video games, and uh, you just have everything else, bro. That's this ain't it, bro. in nah. the video. A woman is standing at the edge of the sidewalk as the cameraman walks past. A closer look at the woman's face puts viewers on edge. Bro, I can't stare at that, bro. What is that? Bro, stop replaying it, bro. I hate it. It's her. It's turning like that, bro. This shit like somebody out of a movie. This isn't something I'll be able to unsee. It's following me. It's following all of us. What is that, bro? This man chills with 20... This man is abusing instant replays. Of the Either worst that's part. a mask... Or this is Uncanny Valley, the blackened mouth, the eyes, the stillness. This is an image that will haunt my nightmares. <laughs> Number 13, Bro, said sea, monster. sea Monster. What is this mysterious disturbance in the sea? Oh, that's a Loch Ness Monster. Scary yeah, function. I learned about that shit when I was in like sixth grade, bro. There was about seven or eight rare photos of Loch Ness Monster, but it can never get it up close. This is it right here, 20 We'll share footage of what some are saying is a sea monster in our waters. Captured from what looks like a speedboat, a Loch Ness monster looking creature is seen surfacing near the lighthouse. Is this a real sea monster? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Bro, that looked like real to me. I think it could be. Then again, it could also be a clever animation. Which do you think it is? Real or fake? Y'all think it is. Number 12. Another paranormal day. YouTuber Jeff Pasco is having just another paranormal day in his haunted home. According to Jeff... He noticed the door to his grandfather clock was open again, so he asked who opened it. 
This is what he heard in response. You open that clock up. Who's messing with that clock? Huh? I hear a faint response, but I can't make it out. Immediately after, Jeff turns to look in his home office and finds a former gazing ball lawn ornament lighting up. He says it had stopped working over the past year. Who was it? Very strange. Are you doing that? If you are, stop doing it. Is this spirit communicating through both what? the clock and the... <laughs> Bro, you're in your own house. Why are you saying... To... Don't Long turn it off or fix it. What do you mean, no, can you can stop? You again? Man, people are crazy. I know I'm a pest. There you go. Thank you. Just once. One more time. There you go. Thank you. Some in the comments are really worried that he's speaking to it. Okay. Wow, you're making it go fast now, huh? Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Strobe? Wow. You're showing off now. What do you think? Is it a bad idea to speak to a presence in your home? Personally, I think acknowledging it is better than ignoring it. Because if you ignore it, it might do something much crazier to get your attention. <laughs> Number 11, Shadow Figure. This clip shows paranormal events at their most active. YouTube team Blue Line Paranormal share security camera footage of a room haunted by a shadow figure. First, objects move on their own. A little later, the light in the next room turns off and on. In fact, there seems to be some movement in that far room. Watch the doorway. Yeah, I see it too. The house can you go for sale. Is the shadow figure creating all this mayhem? I believe that's what's at play here, especially when this happens. The shadow seems to be seeking light. But then it starts flickering the lights again, and you can see the shadow figure peek into view. I can definitely see a figure standing in that next room, and to me, it seems determined to drive all who live here crazy. Number 10, someone's here. What should you do when you know someone has broken into your home? Posted uh, by YouTuber Eric, after hearing banging noises, Steve goes to wake up Eric. Hello? Yo, hey. <coughs> What's going on? You hear that? What's that, bro? Get the damn, uh... So what's that? Don't... They head down the to check it out. Right? What was that? Huh? What the f***? Bro, what? I'm not... Yo, yo, yo, yo... Ah! Bro, what? What, Steve? Bro, I saw something right there. I bro, saw... yo, come on, man. Okay, like, even if they was in danger, the man, the first thing this dude pulls out is a camera, bruh. Man, is this real? This number 10 right here, is this real I or is this a skit? Watch closely. Yo, yo, yo. Ah! They now know for sure there's someone in their home with them, and that's confirmed when they hear this. Street skull, huh? They got me.
What is that, bro? Steve, all right, no. No. We gotta bro. find out. That sounds like a woman crying to me. As they search the house, something pushes back. Oh, bro, let's go. Oh. Oh. What the f was that? What the f? Bro, oh did the door Steve. just close on you, bro? Did the door just close on you? I felt something. They decide to flee, but before they can, <laughs> this happens. We just, gotta, we just gotta go, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, this is getting too much. It's not okay, bro. Steve. Bro. One. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. This is a short skit right here. How oh, is there somebody in the backseat? Look at this shit. Something evil. Bro. Man, this acting was bad. With them. Yo. But it's not what it seems. This is 6 out of 10 acting, dog. Yeah, right. <laughs> they got yeah, lucky. right. This time, even though it was a practical joke, I think this experience would make me change my locks. Number 9. Bro. Help me. Yet another disembodied voice. This one at least is not threatening this paranormal team but rather reaching out for help. The YouTube team, Outsider Paranormal SWPA, captures this EVP on camera. This person's passed out right here. The voice clearly says, help me. And although they've labeled this a woman's voice, it sounds like a man's voice to me. The team doesn't seem to hear it in the moment, but now that they have observed it in the aftermath, I hope they return to this place to lend a helping hand. Number eight, Haunted Hotel. According to YouTuber Papa DX, the Emily Morgan Hotel in San Antonio is considered the most haunted hotel in Texas. As a former medical arts center and crematorium, complete with a morgue, you can imagine the souls this place holds as the YouTube team investigates, they have a few paranormal experiences of their own. This drawer was open right here. Literally it was out and everyone swears whenever we left, they did not pull it out. So I'm kidding you not, the drawer was open. That's the first thing we noticed when we came back. They ask the spirits in the room to touch the REM pod. Yeah, the, uh, the green light beep one more time. Oh! As they ask the spirits another question, something Man, says moves. Some, oh! Spirit in this room right now. If there is, can you please turn on the music box? <laughs> They're discussing what they should do next when the music box goes off nearby. The last thing we do. That way we get kicked out, or I get kicked out. Yo, guys, the music box is going off right now. I'm telling y'all, bro, it worked. They ask the spirit to set it off again. If there's a spirit in this hallway right now, can you please activate the music box? Yeah. I get why this place has such a haunted reputation. It does seem to me that there's something watching. Number seven, dark magic. Beware of dark magic. It can destroy you. YouTube team Paranoiacs opens this dark magic box given to him by a supposed witch and inside are some mysterious items. İki siyah mum karanlık bir aura ile doludur ve kötü niyetli varlıkları çağırmaya yardımcı olur. Eski bir evin anahtarı karanlık sembollerle doludur ve kötü niyetli ritüellerde kullanılabilir. Each of the items symbolizes something. He arrives at this strange object. Bir keşişin giysisinin parçası. Bu bez parçası seni kötü varlıklardan koruyabilir. Could it be protection? Later he opens this paper which he says may have an incantation. When he looks at it under the light, he sees this. Is creepy. It looks like a miniature face. He was warned by the witch who sold this chest to him that some of the items may be dangerous. I don't think he should have opened the chest at all. 
Here's my advice instead. Bury it deep in the woods. Number six, Blacksmith's Arms. The Blacksmith's Arms is the ultimate haunt in the UK. The YouTube team Ghosts on Trent heads there to check it out and they start getting that unsettling feeling. Hello? Are you walking about? He keeps hearing noises. Bro just has his camera filming, not even trying to get up out of there. Just... And it sounds like it's in the very next room. Is it just the building settling? I don't think so. I believe it's paranormal. There seems to be too much action going on for it to be any other explanation. Number five, ghost alert. Is this a warning from a ghost? Redditor test for echo 2112 believes a ghost in their 153 name. year old home was trying to alert them. After setting up a hallway camera to monitor a little cousin, who was leaving her bed in the middle of the night. The camera captured this at 12.30 a.m. the hell? The item on the radiator is a roll of plastic. Upon zooming in, you can see it looks quite unnatural when it drops over. The radiators have been shut off since 2020, so this isn't the result of heat or air, and despite appearing curved, the Redditor says the radiator is flat on top, so how did it fall? The home's prior uh, owner claimed there was a little girl ghost named Polly, who gets upset if there's noise after 9pm. Was this Polly acting up? Or is she warning the Redditor <laughs> that their cousin is wandering what? after hours? Was Some in the Polly comments the certainly think up? so. Ain't no way I'm letting the ghost take over a place where I stay at, my nigga. Talking about it anytime past 9 p.m. you're gonna act I think not this quiet. really might be Polly alerting others, but I also think Polly might be luring this girl out of her bed in the night. For what purpose? Possibly to get her in trouble. Number four, the entity. <laughs> While in Nina's late grandmother's house, YouTuber Search Ghost Paranormal meets an entity from another world. As he investigates the home, this happens. He is clearly pushed over by an unseen force. Unfortunately, the push isn't captured on camera. We only see the aftermath. But it looks like something shoved him hard to me. In my opinion, this isn't an entity you should be messing with. Number three, no entry. A room in this castle is apparently off limits for women. At least, that's what the spirits are suggesting. YouTube team Get Spooky Society shares this footage of their investigation. You shouldn't be here. Why not? Why? Why? Why? Why? Why? After they ask it why, they get a response. Oh. Is this a room that women are not allowed in? Wow. This is spectacular, you guys. Mm -hmm. never, we never get flashlight and REM pod right. together. Right. The urgency of the REM pod seems solid to me. Coupled with a flashlight, it seems the message is emphatic. Wow. Is this a room that women are allowed in? Wow. It seems to me that the spirits here are certainly particular. 
Number two, haunted pub. This 17th century pub is frozen in time. YouTube team Straight Explorer visits the pub and early on they hear some unexplained knocking. There is some knocking in there. In the bar, they break out the spirit box and this spirit must be a regular to the pub As they talk about it, they hear footsteps. Let's ask more questions. Yeah. Oh. They head upstairs to check it out, and that's when they hear this. We've heard you walking around up here. Whoa! What, what, what the f? Oh my god! Did you not hear that? I heard it. What the f was it? <laughs> laugh next to me. Like, yeah. That laughter would be enough to send me packing. If I were this paranormal team, I'd be out of there ASAP. I've got a challenge for What's you. What's the challenge, Since chills? you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Because really? I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap Dylan that follow button to find out. Number one, apparition caught. An apparition in an old burnt down building? It's every ghost hunter's dream and will soon be our nightmare. Redditor appropriate grab 9929 captured iconic evidence in this short clip. Watch closely. Don't look in the back room. It happens right in front of him. A strange shadow moves from the left of the screen towards the Redditor. This is in the attic of the Redditor's boarding school. The building reportedly burnt down hundreds of years ago. Wow. Coldest ghost videos I've seen. Many in the comments are seeing legs, others are seeing a woman in a dress. Everyone seems more surprised the more they watch it, including myself. And that's why this is a video you need to see to believe. Warning, if you have a heart condition, All right, man. then skip this How list. scary on a 1 to 10 scale was everything? Which was the scariest? I think that woman that we seen earlier definitely has it out of a